that we're up against and money will not buy us off. It's my honor to be standing here with the Hailtsuk Chiefs on the anniversary of the Exxon Valdez that destroyed a coast in Alaska equivalent to almost the whole coast of British Columbia. Whether it's Enbridge's pipeline and tanker project or Kinder Morgan's expansion project, we need to stop oil tanker expansion on British Columbia's beautiful coast. The opposition to several proposed pipelines from the Alberta tar sands to super tankers on BC's coast was ratcheted up another notch last week as close to 2,000 citizens and First Nations converged in downtown Vancouver for a colorful rally and march to pipeline giant Enbridge's Vancouver headquarters. The crowd, which gathered at the Vancouver Art Gallery, heard from a number of guest speakers, including 350.org's Bill McKibben. What they want is for British Columbia to be a kind of carbon gateway where oil and coal and a lot of other things can come pouring out of the interior and get out into the rest of the planet to be burnt and we just can't let that happen. Last spring I returned home to witness one of the biggest oil spills in Alberta's history. It was 10 kilometers away from my family's homes. Days before the federal and provincial government admitted that this was happening, my family was sending me messages telling me of burning eyes, headaches, nausea, dizziness. The school was shut down for a week and a half. It wasn't until after the federal election of last year that the information was released about the magnitude of the spill. 28,000 barrels. 4.5 million liters leaked onto our traditional territory without the community even knowing that it was happening. We know that the Harper government is a couple clowns short of a full circus. <laughs> and we know that this fight will intensify and I know that you will be there. So when I go home, and hug and kiss my grandchildren. I will tell them that you are here and I will tell them that you will be there tomorrow and the day after and I will tell them that we will win this fight. The rally was co-organized by the Heltzik First Nation of Bella Bella, hosting hearings on the proposed Enbridge Northern Gateway Pipeline in their coastal community this week. I know when we stand together, we are a powerful people. But it wasn't just First Nations who had something to say about these pipeline plans. We have Mr. Harper who is trying to implement probably the worst policy we've seen in our lifetime. It is not just an environmental catastrophe, but a financial one that will affect every single person in this country if we don't say no. The crowd also heard about Kinder Morgan's relatively quiet plan to twin its existing Trans Mountain Pipeline to Vancouver, which would mean up to 300 super tankers a year plying the waters of the province's south coast. And what they want to do is increase their pipeline from 300,000 barrels a day up to six or maybe even 700,000 barrels a day. Kinder Morgan has been trying to do this as quietly as possible. They don't want anybody to know what they're planning to do because they know that you don't support it. They've seen the opposition to Keystone. They've seen the opposition to Enbridge. And they know that they've got an existing tanker shipping route. They've got an existing pipeline. And they think they're going to be the only act left in town when everybody says no to these other projects. And the water here, I played in the water. I swam in the water. I canoed in the water. I ate out of the water. That helped me to grow with and, and have a connection that my ancestors have, to have a connection to where my ancestors come from. The voices of youth were heard from on this day as well. It's when I'm in crowds like this with all these inspirational people that I regain that hope that we can do this. We have to do this. Bring back the days we used to care When all of these troubles were not there Cry for help this is Gone. Following the rally at the art gallery, the crowd took to the streets, marching several blocks to Enbridge's Vancouver headquarters.
Young people in our community have embarked upon a hunger strike because they want to ensure that this doesn't happen. The Harper government continues to escalate its attack on opponents of these pipeline plans, reinforced by elements of its recent budget bill. Yet somehow the resolve of these First Nations and citizens to keep their coast tar sands free only seems to grow stronger by the day. This is one of these great moments in human history, and you guys are absolutely at the white-hot center of it. Thank you so, so much for your work.